Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This video is presented to you by Chiacon Consulting. And in this video, we will learn about custom log messages in UiPath. So as you all know, it is very important to write down all the custom messages after every activity while creating a flow. So now in this video, we will learn about how you can write the custom messages after each and every activity and after all the activities you can write down in an excel file so i'll quickly jump onto the studio and i will show you about that so here we have created this reusable component to write down the log messages in a data table and in the main sequence we can write in an excel file so here we are having three arguments which are of indirection which is in message, message status, exception, and log file, which is of data table type. So here in the condition, we have used an if activity and in the condition, in exception, we have provided it is if it is equal to exception. I'll explain about this as well. And if this variable is equal to exception, then it will provide the message as an error, else it will provide the message as an info. And after writing this message, what we have added is we have added this add data row, which will add the date time and the log message in this data table. So in the main sequence for writing the log message in an Excel file, first we need to create a build data table. And here I will provide this name as processing date and time and i will name this column as log message and i will mark it as string this okay so here as you all know this is the sequence we can directly drag it and in invoke this sequence so like this i will invoke this sequence after every activity and you can do it if you want and if you want to write down the message after every four activity after every five activity or maybe after every activity that totally depends on you and to write the message what we'll do is so here i have provided these messages in this variables of string type so here if i click on this import arguments here we can see the, those three arguments which i have shown you in this log message sequence so in log file so for this, uh, we have created this uh, log file data table, right? I will mark the output as dt log file. And here I will provide this dt log file. And if the message is of exception, so what I will do is I can write exception like this so that it should write down the message as error. Or maybe if, if it is just an info type, I don't need to write anything here. I will directly pass the message LB build DT and I will come forward. For this activity, now I need to write down the message for this filter, like the bot will filter. So what I have done is I have in this LB filter DT, I have added this message bot as filter relatable using link. So what I'll do is same relatable will be DT log file for every time because we need to use that data table to write down in the excel file here i will pass the message lv filter dt and we have one more process here the data table will be dt log file sorry the message will be lv write log so now to write down in an excel file we will use write range workbook so right now I don't have any log file created. So I'll simply give a message as log file dot Excel SX. So I have directly provided the name. So it will go, it will create the file. Heat name will be logs and the database will be DT log file. And don't forget to click on this add header option while writing the Excel file. So I'll quickly debug this. It will run the bot 
and it will write down all the log messages I'll continue see in the output panel as well you can see these messages and here if I open this folder you can see this there is a log file created see so this processing date and time and log message like this you can write down the log messages for n number of activities you can add n number of log messages and it will provide you here and if you add messages in the try block in the exception block of try get so it will provide that as well like at this particular point the boat has failed so that is very helpful to validate the process so that's all for this video I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching.